Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you three simple ways to fix your bathing suit to fit you better. This is especially helpful because summer is right around the corner and we all probably own old bathing suits or just bought bathing suits that need a little fixing up. For this video, I'm going to be showing everything from here rather than just showing my hands because the steps are super simple. Also, I'm not gonna be showing any sewing because there's very little sewing. However, if you feel that me showing the sewing parts will help you better, just comment down below and I'll make a part two. Also, if you'd rather read this video than watch it, I have a blog that goes along with it called Your Creative Confidence. The link will be down below. Now let's get into the video. Hack number one is for all them itty bitty titty committee girls who need a little extra support filling out their top bathing suit. Not only that, but it helps padding in bathing suits in general because some bathing suits just have really bad padding. All you need for this is padding from something else, like an old bathing suit or an old bra. I suggest using a push-up if you wanna look more fuller because it just helps better. All you have to do is cut the padding into the size of your bathing suit. In the end, this is what they look like. This is where the push-up part is. I personally did my push-up on the side so it would like go in more. And this is the bathing suit I'm using. All you do is turn your bathing suit inside out. And if it has a hole, take the original padding out. And take your new padding and put it inside. a size bigger all you need for this is a rubber band and I suggest using a thicker rubber band rather than thin because you want to make sure when you sew it that it actually stays on especially when you're going in the water so originally my bathing suit looked like this now it looks like this all you have to do is cut the side of your bathing suit apart and this black rubber band wouldn't be here then you would make your bathing suit the same size as how thick your rubber band is, so they're equal, and pin across. Then you put some rubber band out until it's the correct length that you want it where it's no longer tight around your waist. Afterwards you sew, it's just that simple. And your bathing suit looks even cuter because it has little black accents. Hack number three is called the scrunch. This can either be used as just a design or can actually help bathing suits if they're really baggy on the bottom. All you need for this is a really thin rubber band. For me, I ran out of rubber bands, so for this demonstration, I'm gonna be using a cut ponytail. So what you're gonna do is take your bathing suit, turn it around, take your rubber band, and pin it to the center back of your bathing suit. Then you're gonna stretch it down until you decide where you want it to end and then pin it from there. This is what it should look like. So from there, you're gonna sew your bathing suit a half an inch down and you're going to pull the rubber band until it's completely straight and sew all the way down. When you are finished, it should look something like this. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment down below for part two if you'd like to see the sewing part. Bye!